That's how do you bad. explain your first week back after seven weeks off, able to slow down one of the best wide receivers in the game? Um, you know, just just thankful for the, the the journey and the road to be able to come back and to play and just be with the guys. Um, I just think it was just that moment when you're out on the field, you cherish it. I mean, you know, a lot of people say you don't know when your last snap may be, and I didn't know that my last snap was going to be, you know, right before Thanksgiving. Um, so to go through that process and then to finally be out there, you know, with everybody, be in the atmosphere with them is different from, you know, just seeing it and watching them play. But to be a collective as a team and be with your brothers um, is just a special feeling. Is there anything you can take from the Justin Jefferson matchup to the potential A.J. Brown one, or are they just two totally different receivers? Uh, I think just trying to keep stack, you know, keep stacking days, uh, coming into work every day. Just trying to put your best foot forward and try to just win the day. Uh, I think that's the, the only thing you can do. You can't really, you know, focus on the past and what you did. Um, it's about what you're trying to do. And you know, for us, it's just get better every day and try to go one and up. What makes AJ so good? Oh uh, man, he is a just a dog. Uh, I would say I don't know how any other ways to explain it. You know, a guy that gets after it, um, attacks the ball, can run every. They were out in the playbook, hit you with a screen, go 80, a slant, go 80, or hit you with a deep ball and go 80. So um, a complete, uh, complete receiver can block and do all the things that you would want. Um, that's a, truly a great player. During those seven weeks off, what was the validation for you to know that you were back? Was it on Sunday having good plays, or was it sometime before then to really feel it? Because sometimes seeing is believing. Um, it's really throughout practice and, and and just preparing and just getting, I guess, different reminders from different people, I guess. I would say, you know, you put in the work in, but then you hear little things, or it can be, you know, from your parents or anybody may say something that gives you a reminder, like, okay, you know, you really are built for this, or you really did put in the work. You know, sometimes um, you can say it, but sometimes I hear a little more reassurance is always clutch. So um, I think throughout the week, um, just having the guys around me, man, I think that, that helps, you know, a lot. You know, it's cool if somebody else said, but have your brothers, the guys that you put in that hard work in, that sweat, not just from camp, but in OTAs and just being around each other, you know, to make sure and, and to know that they have your back and they can trust and believe in you. That gives you all the uh, reassurance you need right there. You were in Tennessee for AJ's first two years. Right. Am I right? So um, what was he like as a rookie? And, and did you guys go against each other a lot in practice? And what were those matchups like? Um, I think as a rookie, he is what he is now. I think he always possessed that, you know, that mentality um, to attack, um, to uh, be different, you know, in this league, and you can see that every every week. And I think he goes out, he goes and, and sets that out every week. And I feel like he's been doing that since his, his rookie year. Um, and it goes credit to him and his mentality um, to go out there and try to prove um, that he's the best, regardless of the situation. I mean, we go from a team that really don't. Uh, throw the ball um, to now he's getting like a thousand yards every year um, and he's been very impactful you know and just proving that he's dominant in this league. I know you haven't been here very long but just what are your thoughts about Eagles fans and also what kind of atmosphere uh, are you expecting on Saturday? Uh, I'm expecting a uh, you know a great a great environment um, obviously going down there it's a, a division opponent but it's, it's a playoff game so I'm expecting to be Fired up and rowdy, like I expect any any uh, team that's at home to be. You know, even was in Minnesota, they was out there turn. And it was, you know, the wildout game we had before uh, Christmas um, was was loud. Then this game was different. So even when we were there um, last uh, two weeks ago, when we went down there, it was loud then. But I expect it to be louder. So um, just expecting, uh, you know, a great environment. You know, something that you you know dream of playing in and having that that moment. Do you prefer? Do you prefer hearing the roar of the crowd when you make a big play, or do you like the silence when you make a big play? Um, Quieting a crowd or basically revving one up? I think they both go hand in hand. It's just depends when you do it at the crib. It's, it's something that you you know live for, you know, that the crowd cheering for you. But when you you can silence the crowd as well, uh, I think that's the cool thing about playing defense because you get a little bit a little bit of bang for your buck. Like you either silence them or you can turn up the crowd at home. So um, I think they both go hand in hand. As someone has spent time away because of your injury and now you're back into the fold, what has allowed this defense to peak at the right time and play so well? 
Uh, I think we just always played together, you know, regardless of me being in and being out. Uh, if you, we all seen that throughout all the games. You know, we all ride for each other and, and play for each other and understand that it's no I, it's we uh, when we're out there. And 11 has to the ball final round. So um, that goes credit, you know, to Wink and then the guys here buying in and understanding that uh, we just want to, you know, write our own narrative and, and, and try to be special in our own eyes and try to write our own history here.